Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Lego Weaponry and today we have another non-firearm for you guys and this has been an idea of mine for quite a while I don't know how long this has been for but I know for sure that this has been an idea of mine so yes anyway now this weapon is about to be my very first attempt and my very first try at making and presenting this weapon on the channel just because this is a weapon I have never made before so yes, I'm bound to be rough on certain areas of this particular weapon, but to be honest, with my own opinion, I wouldn't really recommend them making this weapon, just because it doesn't last long compared to the weapons that I usually do. So yes, this is bound to be a little bit off in certain areas, but I have tried my best and that's what counts, so yes, anyway. Here it is, oh yes, this is bound to be one of Deadpool's katanas, so yes, and I think this is one of his important weapons out of his entire life, because he was, well, he is a swordsman and all, so yes, anyway, let's have a look at the um, comparisons between this Lego version and the real, ver well, and the real katana, well, thing is, I would have to show you a different picture of the katana, just because I couldn't really find a decent picture of Deadpool's actual sword, or one of them as you may say. So, anyway, let's have a look at those comparisons, shall we? Interesting. Right, let's show you the areas and the details of this particular sword. So, first things first, well, as you may tell, here's the handle, which could be wielded with either one, or two hands, whatever you feel comfortable with, so yes, hey ho. With the um, curvy bit here, I don't know if I've realised that and all, but hey ho, that's a bit of a random thing to say. Um, now with this part here, how I've made this, well if you're curious, it's just simple really, it's just these and this, and technically it's just the six studded flat piece that goes down, and um, one studded piece that goes across, so yeah, if that makes any sense. And with the um, other axis, as you may say, it only includes one because there's a piece there that prevents me from placing this on here, so yeah, kind of a bummer, but hey ho. So, yep, that goes on there. As you may tell, with the middle section, it's all sellotaped just because this middle section here was the most fragile part out of the lot. And the whole thing is off balance just because this part here is shorter than this, obviously. So, yeah, it would be a little bit hard to actually use this in real life. So, well, not in real life with the actual weapon, but with this weapon here right now, with the Lego one. So, if that makes any sense. So, anyway, it may be a little bit unprofessional for me to actually sell take this together, but I had no choice just because, well, if there were no... If this had no sellotape on here at all, this would keep falling over and over again and breaking repeatedly. So it's best to put sellotape on for now, you know, just to keep it in one place until later on when I'll be making something else out of it, which will be a lot more stronger to this. So, yes, anyway, as you may have obviously tell with the top section here, it's a little bit off, but. What I've seen, well, what I've realised on the actual katana, is that it's slightly curved but straight at the same time, which is a little bit awkward compared to Lego. You know, I try my best with it and always, it's not fully correct to my in my opinion, but um, I try my best and that's what counts. Like I've said like a thousand times already, and with the um sloped part here, with the um well, what I've realised on the tip of the katana, it's just like a like an angled piece, well, an angled area here. It's just for, I don't know, for detail and for design and everything else. So, yes, moving on. As you may tell here, this um, rectangular or squared piece right here, which prevents your hand from going further up the blade and slicing your fingers off, most probably. So, yes, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, Yes, I'm. am sorry if this isn't so exciting for you, but I wanted to see what this would look like and everything else. If whenever I've made this weapon, if that makes any sense, you know the fact that this is my very first time at making this particular weapon, and I've never made one before, so I might as well make one now just to get it done and over with. And yeah, to be honest, I wouldn't really make a, recommend it. So yeah, it's not that best, but 
you know, it's something, that's what counts, so, anyway, here is Deadpool's katana, well, one of them, so, yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, even though it was kind of boring in a way, but, hey ho, if you did, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below what you think of this episode, so help me a lot, but if you really liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and keep the channel growing? Should help me lot as well. Oh yes, keep up to date with videos that I do as well. Oh yes, feel free. And if you're new around the channel, you know you're welcome. You know, feel free to have a look around my past content or the content that I've done doing nowadays. So yes, feel free to have a look around, you know. I appreciate the support that you're giving me so far, including everyone else who's been giving me support so far around the channel, whoever's been around here for a couple of months or even a year. So yeah i appreciate it a lot so yeah anyway join me tomorrow that is as i'll be making another marvel weapon which well technically this weapon is used by a member of the x-men so yes join me tomorrow for that well i've already made it unfortunately so here yeah, it's at the back there so you wouldn't guys see it so yeah see you away join me tomorrow for that so yes enjoy the rest of your days salute